Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Belinda here from Visualized NZ. I am going to work with an envelope today. Uh, so I've made this to go in my personal journal. I haven't glued it down because I'm not sure what page I want it on yet. Um, it'll be on a page where I have lots to talk about and that's not going to be today uh, because I'm still at home with COVID. Uh, hubby's still at home with COVID. Uh, technically we were allowed out of isolation yesterday but we're not symptom free and we've still got a lot of gunk and very very low in energy and quite tired so um, so we're still both at home uh, keeping to ourselves so back to, back, to, back to the exciting stuff back to the crafty stuff um, so I'm using a window envelope uh, these ones are actually unused but they're old ones um, the sticky bits all dried out and yeah just just a plain ordinary window envelope and I've made this pocket because we love using the windows don't we uh, pocket for the journal which is going to be glued down on three sides and then it wraps around the page and becomes this flip open space now this would be fine for writing on perfect space if you want to extend your writing space um, if the pattern inside or if there's writing or something that you don't want then col you can certainly collage or stick some writing paper on there um, but what I have in mind for this is a place to put photos so that my journaling will be on the page above it primarily and then I'll have space for my photos to attach in there and I'm going to add some paper along this seam as well some decorative to cover up this word here and just to strengthen where it's folding around the page so that's my plan and that's my prototype um, I haven't made something quite like this before and you know I, I like to experiment and see where things can go and I really like this I think it's quite usable um, extending the space for either for images or writing or whatever you need uh, and I'm using it in my personal journal but equally as useful to stick on a page which I will do from my one I'm about to make if I can grab a page uh, this is a big page so I'll need to cut it down it's a full scrap size um, so maybe I will work out roughly where it needs to be folded I did have a A4 page folded somewhere but I can't put my hand on it right now so this one will be fine and this is coffee dyed paper uh, and so that other bit I'll either fold in as a, a flap or I'll trim it off or something but for this um, when I get to this stage I'll glue it down on that paper so you can see how to attach it so now I need to remember how I actually made it. That's the, that's the fun part, isn't it? Right, so first off, I need to open out the envelope. So I'm just going to take my craft knife and run it along the edges. Remember when you're cut, using a craft knife to cut away from you wherever possible it's the safe way to do it right so there we go we have our folded out envelope and now I'm just going to trim off these little um, bits here so they're just going to get in the way I did try and think of a way to use them but and I'm sure there will be but not on this project this project we need to just trim off those bits that stick up Right, and I also cut off the flappy bits on these, um, just because, you know, that's, it's not sticky. In this particular instance, it's not really sticky, but it's I don't find it a nice texture either or a nice lock. So I'm just going to cut off those self-adhesive bits along the fold lines. So hopefully everyone's going to have a good week this week. I'm looking forward to uh, Lydia's video that I think is going up today with the next scrappy action and I'll give that a go um, so 
so that's February and June. If you're not following her channel, then I suggest you hop along and, and subscribe to her channel so that you get all of our collaborations that we're doing this month for Scrappy September. Uh, it's a lot of fun so far, despite the fact that we're both sick. Um, certainly not making it easy to do with all the plans that we had for this Scrappy September. But there's still a lot of September to go, so join in the fun. Right, so here's your envelope all nicely trimmed down. And I like to fold this now before I go any further. Because the window envelope would, if I folded it directly in half, it would be very close to the fold line, the end of the window. So I like to fold it in a bit further so it's not even um, on both sides. So you see this side's quite a bit shorter. And roughly to be about the same size on both sides. It's not essential, but that's just my preference. And just give that a good crease, like so. Okay, so my next step is to collage this part. Now this part's going to be the front on the page. So we like that to be nice and decorative. So there's that bit, so just collaging that front bit. And I've got an old digital here that I've had printed out for I don't know how long. And I'm just going to use bits of that to collage the front of my envelope. So I'm just roughly measuring up on the envelope itself and tearing. Just going to go that side. So I don't know what plans are for this week, um, it depends, you know, when we're feeling up to things. I was supposed to be going to an appointment on Wednesday, but I don't think I'll be going now. Um, so I'll need to ring and either change that or change it to a phone appointment or something. Um, even if hubby's back at work, which I don't know whether he will be, um, he would be taking me to the appointment, so I just can't. Can't really bank on the fact that either of us will be well enough to do that. So I'm not sure now what uh, what this week will bring in terms of our movements. Um, when hubby will go back to work. Oh, when we'll actually feel sort of human again. Um, definitely feeling better than we did at the beginning of having COVID. But I would have liked to have been feeling better than what I do. But I have heard it takes a couple of weeks for that uh, tiredness and stuff to sort of resolve. So I guess we just ride it out and it will get better sometime. It will get better. <coughs> right. So I've got that bit on the bottom. So you could collage this with whatever, you could do traditional collage of scraps, um, you know, collage with whatever you like, or you could paint it, or, you know, it doesn't have to be collage, you could do whatever you like, you could splatter it with paint or ink or um, decorate it however you wish. Um, but most of us have a lot of scraps that it's good to use, so collage is definitely a good way to go. Um, if I was sort of more on my game, I'd be using scraps to do this, since it is Scrappy September. Uh, but maybe I'll make some more and use some scraps up afterwards. And in a way, this is a scrap. It's just a big scrap, um, because it's something I... Have had around for ages and not used so and I'm certainly going to end up with more scraps from it so I won't use the whole thing so has anyone participated in the scrappy action yet um I still have I keep forgetting to check the uh, hashtag on Instagram so I will get to that if you have done it and tagged 
um, tag does or hash, use the hashtag I will I will look um, yeah as I said I'm, I'm just haven't been on my game having COVID but I will do that I'll make a point of doing it after I've done this video how's that so if you haven't it's not too late it's going for the whole of September so jump in and give it a go we would love absolutely love I know Lydia would love it as well to see what you do right there we go so I'm just keeping this collage quite simple right and use this bit on the other side Right, there we go, there's the front, all nicely collaged. And so when we put it on the page, we can have a journal card or a tag or something that goes in our pocket that has the window. Okay, now I'll grab my page and I'm going to stick it on my page. So I'm going to open it out and I want to glue down this fold line and along the bottom and this side so normally if you're wrapping it around a page you would not worry about gluing the part that's folded round. but because the other part's going to be a flip down and open um, then I want to seal in my pocket so that it's only open on one side otherwise we might have stuff that falls outside probably wouldn't but just for security sake I'm going to glue that along that edge as well and along the bottom so you could do this with whatever size envelope you've got um, it doesn't have to be a window envelope if you don't have a window envelope um, yeah just just make it with whatever you've got you could even just not use normal paper and either cut a window into it or not have a window and you know any bit of paper could work really but it's good to use up envelopes if you've got them Right, I'm just going to carefully try and stick that down where it folds, just to make sure that it's all going to work properly. And there we go. So that's now secured, and we have our decorative pocket on the side. So I am going to further decorate that with a tag. Uh, just finding my bin of tags. Let's see what we find that might work with it. Some of those might be alright. Journey. I don't really feel like this is going to be for a travel journal, so perhaps we'll that blue's not quite right. Brown feather might work. Again, that's not the right blue. Actually, I like that. I like that one. So I'm going to give that a bit of ink. Uh, on my other one I did ink around the edges. Um, so that's certainly an option. I didn't do it on this one. Um, completely up to you whether you want to ink or not. I just decided this one I wasn't going to. Either that or I forgot. I don't even remember whether I intended to or not to be honest. No, brain, brain gone on holiday, I think, or something. I think that's the worst part of being sick, is that your brain just doesn't function normally, and it's hard to think through things that are, are normal, you know. It's just everyday things are just so much harder to try and process. Okay, let's see... I'm thinking a bird for this. I don't know why. 
I'm just thinking bird. So let's grab out my fussy cut birds and have a look. So I don't want a big bird. A couple of birds there. Yep, I like them. Not going to think about it too much. I just need to finish cutting off out their legs and, and the twigs, uh, which I've left. So if you see, I've left the paper in here um, just so that their legs don't get torn off while they're rum being rummaged through in my container. Because they do like to hook up on each other. So once I'm ready to use them, I just whip out any last little bits that I've left uh, to preserve them in one piece. that bit and this little bit between the branches and also at this stage I sometimes change my mind on what I want to keep in the image and what I can dispense with so I could have trimmed off these branches altogether but I do like that they explain the branches that they're standing on they just don't disappear <coughs> I think that's super cute. So I'll pop that down. Like so. And I'm thinking about a word. Yeah, I want a word. Another container for my words. I'll have them all out here soon, won't I? Uh, enduring, that sounds nice. Let's have a look at enduring. I'm just giving it a fussy tear with my fingers. And this is on um, paper that I have eco dyed with avocado. Down at there, there. Maybe up there. I mean, placement is very important. Get a composition that you find pleasing to your eye. <coughs> Oh, please excuse me, my going a bit froggy, froggy throat. Just a reminder that COVID is still lingering on in our house. There we go, enduring. It's enduring for the moment. Can't wait till it can give it the boot. Right, so that's that bit done. Okay, so over here, now you absolutely could decorate this up, um, and I may do so, uh, I haven't got plans at the moment to do it, but I do want to put a strip of paper down this point, which is not necessary, um, I just want to, and I think it will be quite nice. So I'm going to use the same paper as what I did for the collage. <clears throat> and put this funny little bit down the bottom so I'll just trim that off so it didn't tear properly and trying to decide whether I take it level with the bottom of the paper or whether I take it lower the strip isn't long enough to go all the way down I think just to the bottom of the paper um, but you could take it as far down as you want. You take it all the way down or you could add a second strip of paper and do it. You know what I'm trying to say. I can't get words out. And do it, yeah, a strip all the way down. Uh, it doesn't have to be one piece paper. 
Right, so I'm going to glue that on and then I'm going to let the glue dry before I fold it back up. So I want to allow it to sit there and form its bond before I upset it by folding it. And then I'll get a nicer finish when I do fold it. So there we go. And you could use washi tape for this as well if you preferred. Washi is a, such a great thing to use, isn't it? Oops, just damaged my paper being a bit too hard with my card. Right, so there I'm just going to leave that. And it's pretty much covered that word there, like you wouldn't really notice. Um, these little side bits, if I tear them off, it's going to damage the paper underneath. Uh, but they do have a little bit of flap on them, so I'm just going to run in with my glue stick. Put a bit of glue on them and glue them down. Just to tidy things up. And the one on this side. So you can certainly tear them off if you like, but I've found from experience that they tend to damage the paper underneath and leave it quite thin and vulnerable. So I prefer to, to just leave it on, glue it down a bit, and then you can cover it over or write over top or whatever. Oops, got a little chink there. Excuse me, I'm just going to have a wee drink of my coffee. Mmm. That's a strong coffee this morning. Hubby must have put extra coffee in it. Right, so now I'm just wondering whether I want to do anything else um, or not. While that glue's drying, I might whip around the edge and give it a bit of a distress on this side, just to give it something. Actually, I might corner around it as well. Why not? Just to give it some sort of interest. So it's probably easier to do this before it's actually glued on the page, but however. Not impossible, just a little bit more fiddly. There we go, get rid of my little trimmings. Right, now finish off the inking. And the inking just gives it a little edging border and some definition and a bit of interest. Oops, keep sticking to getting caught up on my jersey. Right, so that folds up there. And I'm just going to, hopefully that glue is dry enough now. Fold that back along its line. Give it a bit of a burnish. <coughs> And there we have it. We have our little window pocket. So I need something to put in there to show you. So put a tag or something in there. That actually works quite well with the, the little sentiment in the pocket. You can see that. So a journal card or a tag or something in the pocket on that side and then on this side we open it up and you can write on here or you could decorate it up, uh, writing space or decorate it up, whichever way you prefer and then flip open and you've got writing space or space for photos or space to um, do some drawing, um, however you want to use it. So there we go, there's my idea for Monday morning, so my brain's not completely shut down, um, and I'm certainly feeling better than I did last Monday. But yeah, that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoy this idea, I'd love to see what you make, if you want to hop into the 
Facebook group, Virtual Vibes. You can post a photo, um, grab some freebies that I've got in there, um, or just say hi. Um, leave me a comment, a like, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I'd love to have you with me along this crafting journey. So thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.